Oh my God, so many comments on Germany. I am in Netherlands. I don't know how I'm going to answer all these questions. Alexa, can you help me? I can help you with specific questions like, how do I connect Bluetooth? To learn more about what I can do, take a look at the things to Alexa. try section in the Alexa app. Do you know anything about education in Germany? The responsibility for the education system in Germany lies primarily with the states, while the federal government plays a minor role. Optional kindergarten. A few moments later. Sorry, so Alexa, stop. Is compulsory. Alexa, the varies throughout. stop. I don't think these uh, digital assistants can ever replace a human. That's so I guess you would need someone to guide you personally instead of relying on this crap digital assistants Tada! for newcomers i am sambit praraj i do all these videos on studying and living in netherlands and apart from that uh, slowly i'm expanding to europe so i thought like why not introduce my friend who is in germany and he's from rwth akin and i guess i'll leave the intro to him so he can introduce himself and then we'll talk about different topics related to study and living in germany hi guys uh, i am atul anand as sambit has already introduced me and i did my bachelor's from nit raurkela and uh, most of you guys are Indian, I guess, so you can relate with me a lot better. And I am doing my master's in metallurgical engineering at RWTH Aachen, and so I am here to help some bit with all the queries regarding studying in Germany. Okay, and how long have you been doing masters in Germany? Uh, it's already? been it's been a year already. I okay. am about to complete my second semester now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like in September, I will I will be completing one year. Okay, okay. So let's move on. So we have decided to make five short videos because it's a very huge topic and we cannot cover them in one single video. So we will be talking about the admission system, uh, the education system, the life. How is the life in Germany? And the biggest question which I also get from the subscribers from Netherlands is about the. Uh, requirement of German language and student assistantship so these are the five different topics and we'll be making five short videos so all these videos will be differently placed and you can find them everywhere so let's move on to the first uh, topic that is the admission requirement that you have for masters in RWTH Aachen uh, Germany because he is doing in RWTH Aachen and as I have as I was discussing with him off the camera that uh, the the admission requirement varies from yes. region to region yes. right yes from university to university okay yeah. so so that's why I uh, we are only focusing on his experience in masters in RWTH Aachen so first we can start with something like which most people ask like the english language requirement in the gre yes. uh, like toefl or ilts yes. and gre so what would you say about that like you can continue with other requirements also like yes yes like first the main thing is uh, the english language requirements like there are two kinds of courses at rwth there are some german taught courses and english taught courses and I'm first focusing on English taught courses because my course is English taught. Mm -hmm. You need IELTS score of minimum 6.5. Mm -hmm. And if you are appearing for TOEFL, you need a minimum of 100. Okay. The, yeah. I think that is the same here also. And TOEFL, I think here they have 90 as minimum cutoff. And IELTS is same, 6.5. Yes. And that too varies from course to course. Mm -hmm. Like for my course, this was the requirement. Okay. But like... Uh, for some other courses th that may be higher or lower it varies mm. and regarding GRE like not all the courses require GRE mm. like my course is in metallurgical engineering it did not require GRE okay. when I had applied but they are changing the uh, requirements mm. these days like this year I heard that they have introduced GRE for masters in metallurgical engineering as well and uh, some popular courses like automotive engineering and others they require GRE 
Okay, so yeah. the the it varies from also from course to course, even in the same university, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Even in the same university, it mm. varies. And what about the like the GPA and previous experience? And yes. Yes. GPA, I I won't strictly say that you need a like. Uh, really a very high GPA but like a decent GPA like I am talking something relevant to students in India mm -hmm. it should be above 8.5 or something like on that. a scale of 10 as we yes, have in India. on a scale of 10 and I d I don't really believe like in converting it to the German system because okay. that conversion scale is not as effective as we think uh -huh. and, so, and what is the scale in Germany is it like uh, it's like 1 to 4 Oh, okay. And, and one being the highest. Okay. Oh, okay. That's yes. very confusing. Like, right? like in US, they have four is the highest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Germany, I, I know about US, and I also, I mean, in Netherlands, it's very same to India. Like you have a ten scale. Yes, yes. But it's very strange. Like. Yes, it's actually strange. It was very strange for me when I first came. Yeah. So you, if you are near one, then it means you are really good. Yes. Okay. One is the highest. One is equivalent to ten in India. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, so yeah, GPA I would say a decent GPA of 8.5 and above is good. Like GPA acts as a tiebreaker. Like there mm. are a lot of applications. So it's like a cut off. Yes. If you are above that, then it's fine. Yes. If but if you have too much also, that doesn't matter yes. that much in the admission. It's the whole thing. Right? Uh, yes. Yes. And the, the the I mean speaking from Indian perspective, does yes. the University also play a role like suppose you are from NIT or IIT or you are yes. from state universities. Yes, like uh, I would say if you are applying for some courses which are not very popular like these days the more, more number of Indian students are coming courses are becoming more and more popular. So the competition okay. is increasing. Okay. okay. So with that uh, the college comes into role like if I, you would ask me the same question like three to four years before mm -hmm. then i would say it doesn't matter okay but nowadays if like so many students are applying and they have to take limited students they also consider which college are you from and mm. sometimes like uh, your brand name of the bachelor's the college okay. in which you did your bachelor's counts okay yeah. okay yes okay and Regarding the main thing, the language, like... Yes, yes. I, I would first talk about the experience, like, yes. Uh, it will be oh, work experience. Work okay. experience, okay. yes. Like, uh, for some uh, courses, that also varies, like, if you are uh, going into a very practical based course, mm -hmm. like automotive, for okay. example, or like computer science, okay. So in that, those cases, work experience is adds value to your application. Okay. Yes. So yeah, I I understand because in CS especially I know like if you have like a software developer or something and you have yes. developed some apps or some prototypes or yeah. some kind of products. Yes. And you have made use of them in industry or something. Then, I, so maybe it's the case in automotive. Also. Yes. Yes. And uh, if your course is very research uh, based, mm -hmm. then it is it is good if you have done some previous projects okay. in your college. Those add value to your application. Okay. Yeah. And it depends on how much competition it is in that year. Mm, that's true. I that's think true. every year it is increasing yes. a lot. Like yes, yes. Because in Netherlands also I've seen like especially for computer science when I came into 2015 there was not that much competition but. Uh, in the last year, some people applied in February, and although the application was open till April, yeah, but it was already filled because they returned the application fees for most students yes. because they had already like 1.5 times of their intake, expecting yes. that some will not come. Yes, so That's, it's really yes, okay. Uh, and uh, regarding language, language, I would say like, if your course requirement in the website, if the course requirement doesn't mention anything about language, you actually don't need German language. Okay. okay. You don't need German language to do the course, to mm -hmm. pass the exams. Okay. But that doesn't mean you don't need German in Germany. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, we will go to that point in another video in yes. life in Germany. Yes, exactly. We are going to discuss in more details about that. But yes. If you are asking like uh, while studying in college, uh, if they claim that you only need English, you actually only need English. Okay. Yeah. That, that's good. Yes. And 
any specific websites that they should refer we will put in the description yes, below yes and uh, the, anything comes to mind because I, as far as i know with my limited knowledge i think dad is a good place to start like yes, the aad yes yes and we'll leave the links in the description yes, below yes so do you know anything anything else or we'll uh, we'll go, go to the next video okay yeah. okay so we'll put it in the description and talking about the need of german in germany we will discuss it in the next video so do watch the next video if you want to know about it in details